Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. I've got all my journals in front of me right now and I'm gonna be going through them and probably do some journaling right now. Of course we have my daily journal which is almost complete. I'm so excited. I'm not sure when I'll be able to get this video up. Right now it's Monday the 11th and so I have like half a month to fill out in this whole journal, which I'm really excited about. I love this journal so much. This is the Moleskin Pocket Daily Diary, and I highly recommend this, especially as a beginning daily journal because it is so small. So it's a great starting place if you're not sure if you're gonna be able to keep up with a daily journal. Oh, and there was one other journal I wanted to get. Okay, I got my other journal. I'll put this one with it. Um, I'll get to that in a second, but probably like I am least gonna write in this today because I need to catch up on yesterday and do today. That's how that journal's going. It's going really well. I haven't missed a page yet and I mean I'm pretty confident to say I won't miss a page for the rest of the year because I have less than a month left. And even if I, when I miss a day, I can just go back and fill it out. So this is a really exciting journal that I wanted to talk about. This is like, this is a new journal for me. And I sewed on this fabric to the cover. And then I glued on this fabric with fabric glue. These little caps. This is a half composition journal. And I got a pack of them from Amazon. And I'm kind of obsessed with this journal. Like, I just want to work in it more. I'll show you what I have. I didn't do a setup video for this journal because, like, I kind of didn't expect myself to be getting into this journal. But it's going to be journal number 16. I'm still working on journal 15. But I was just so excited to jump into this journal that I just went for it. I wrote about the new journal. And then these are the other pages. And, yeah. I just really love this journal it's really fun to journal in and it's so much less intimidating than the composition notebook that i have right now which is this one um it's not a traditional composition notebook but it is considered a composition notebook this one i still have like half of it to go and i don't know if i'll finish it it's just so big and so many pages i liked working in it um, especially at first, but like I'm kind of getting tired of it. So I don't know if I'll even finish this one, but I'm gonna keep trying to work on it. But I'm just working on this one at the same time. So I might just like fully switch into this one to be honest, just cause that's what I've been working in. So those are, these are like my everything journals. They're kind of like a commonplace journal. It's just a, the side journal to my daily journal. I work in a daily journal now and then I have a journal on the side usually to put in anything extra that especially doesn't fit in this tiny journal. But speaking of daily journals for next year, I've got my Hobonichi. I've got my Hobonichi for next year and I'm so excited. It's the Cousin of Vec and I got the Yumi Kirigishi cover. This is what it looks like inside. I have a little note on like how I'm gonna fill out the pages, but I wanted to show you what I'm doing in my monthly so far because the monthlies actually start in December so that you have like the month before. So this is what I'm doing with my monthlies. I am so excited about it. I think it looks so cute and it's gonna look amazing all filled up. Um, I think it will just be very satisfying. And I can't wait to do this for each month. This is getting me really excited about working in my Hobonichi. I just want to fill out every day now, but I have to wait till each day passes. So what I'm doing is I'm just writing down a highlight from each day and something that jumped out to me. Um, so then when I look at this, I can look at like an overall view of like kind of what I did each day or like highlights from my month. And it's a, just a really cool snapshot. So I am really excited about this. I am not completely sure what I'm gonna do with my weeklies yet. I was just gonna do a to-do list slash gratitude list. But if you have any better ideas, please comment down them below. I want something that is 
a little more fun like with the daily highlights on the monthly page and then on the year at a glance i'm going to be putting my coffee for each day and where i got it from um because i think that would just be really fun and cute so if you have any like fun ideas for the weeklies please let me know down below i would be so interested to see those and then i'm so excited to jump into my dailies but i gotta wait for january so this is just my little tease into the hobonichi i also um have been marking off the months with star stickers i think i saw mckenna do this her instagram handle is lil bo peep or baby bo peep i think yeah i think that's actually it it's baby bo peep i'll link her channel down below she i love her hobonichi i love watching her hobonichi videos and i'm probably gonna draw a lot of inspiration from her and people like Susie's tiny desk so that's what's going on here you guys already saw me set this up with like these tabs and um stuff like that but this is just like what i've done since then and i've got these little tabs the love it panda tabs and I've been using those to mark important dates. Like that's how I plan in advance. And then I put the highlight of the day in Tombow brush marker, the dual tip, just the bottom part, the bottom tip. Um, and then I outlined them. So that is that so far. Then we've got my manifesting journals. This one I've showed before, it is just my regular manifesting journal. Um, this is how far I've gotten in it. It's not something I do super often, but next year that's actually going to change because I got a daily journal for this and I covered it in stars. You can see this on my TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube shorts. And I put these tabs in here. Let me flip through this. So three is my lucky number and this is like a very, I guess I would say spiritual journal because it is manifesting. So I wanted to put my lucky number in there and I had this card and this is from Courtney Diaz. This is actually my washi tape. It's not on my Etsy right now, but I'm thinking about putting it up soon. Then we got this one is also my washi tape. I am more powerful than I think. This is from Susie's Tiny Desk. Her patreon my friend gave me this little insert so i put that in here then i decorated each month i don't really know what i'm going to do in these monthly pages yet like obviously manifest somehow but um maybe putting important dates that i want to happen but i like how those turn out then I put a yearly intentions page. There's just a blank-ish page and I um, included that. I'm calling it Write My Year because my this journal is called Write My Life. So there we go. I've decorated this and then the first tab is to my, or the second tab is to my daily pages. First tab is to my monthlies in this. I decorated this already. Here are the pages I've decorated so far, and that's it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to write in advance kind of what I want to happen for each day. Or if I just want something general to happen, I can write it on a random page, or I can write it in my old journal. But I'm not putting pressure to journal every day in this. I'm okay if some pages are blank. It's just a way to manifest on specific days. So I'm really curious to see like if this works and if I keep up with it. So that's like kind of an experiment for this year. Those are going to be my 2024 journals. Obviously not this guy because this guy is ending. But I do have another 2024 journal and that's going to be the Hobonichi 5 year. I am so excited to start that journal. I haven't got it yet. Uh, someone's getting it for me as a gift actually. So I will get that on Christmas and I'll show you guys as soon as possible after then. But I am really excited about that and I can't wait to set that up. Those are my 2024 journals though. I'm really excited about them. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna leave this video at that. That's my little journal update right now and like, 
kind of my 2024 journals. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Remember to leave a comment about what you think I should do on my weeklies and my Hobonichi. And I will see you in my next one.